Bow. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brandon Man Sean, and today I want to talk about one big reason that a lot of these rappers out here could be you will fail. And first, I want to say this video is kind of a continuation of a video I did a good minute ago called This Kills Music Careers. So check that out if you haven't seen it, because I'm not going to touch on a lot of points that I feel like I touched on in that video. I just want to talk about one thing industry plants and there's been a whole 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 lot of conversation out here about industry plants i see artists talk about it all the time and they use it to discredit other artists to success if you don't know what an industry plan is look it up you'll find it somewhere else but why do industry plants kill other artists career here's my point i want some of y'all artists to do this experiment just go around asking people how they feel about industry plants and you know what a lot of people will say they won't say, I don't care about industry plants. A lot of people will say, what's an industry plant? And that's probably mind boggling for some people because I know there's probably some artists and just people in general who think everybody knows what an industry plant is, but that's the problem. Not just industry plants itself because that's just one thing that a lot of people waste their time thinking about, particularly as an artist when it comes to their rise. It's actually a signifier of where you're spending your time and a lot of artists are worried about these things, these industry plants, and a lot of these conversations going on in forums and places that actually have nothing to do with the demographic that listens to their music. Think of somebody like Bryson Tiller. His brand has nothing to do with the type of authenticity and all this underground stuff that a lot of these people talk in their forums, but he was somewhat questionable to some people. But do you think the girls, the women that really rock with his music, the core of his fan base, cares any about that conversation not only do they not care most of them will not know and even somebody like Russ that kind of has that crossover if you look at who he caters to women in a lot of his music and even just the other people who like him on a higher scale now that he's kind of risen out of that like core demographic they don't even care about that conversation they don't care about the type of authenticity that everybody's trying to hold people to and i'm not even saying either one of those people are industry plants i don't really care if y'all if y'all have watched <laughs> my channel long enough you know i don't care but the point is if you're an artist and you're spending time in a lot of these places where maybe you think you're working maybe you think you're researching the market and getting a pulse on things but you are not working if you're researching the wrong space, right? You're spending a lot of time along with people, fans, but they're not your potential fans. There's a decent portion of music lovers that are a lot better described as critics than fans. And that's cool and all. And when they actually do love you, like they ride with you pretty heavy. But the problem with that is, if you're getting consumed into those circles and really taking in all that information, you start to get hindered by a lot of these opinions, end up making decisions on stuff that actually isn't true to what your fan base does. We think about shows like Everyday Struggle or just people who follow DJ Academics, right? Because he's a big part of Everyday Struggle. His fan base is a pretty specific fan base and, and it's pretty damn big, but believe it or not, there's people who do not know who DJ Academics is. My sister, has never heard of everyday struggle. There's a lot of other demographics out there who are kind of blind to the things that are in your bubble. So not understanding what bubble you're moving in versus the bubble that your music will actually thrive in can be a huge detriment to any of the artists out there. And I'm not saying don't watch those shows. I watched countless hours of everyday struggle last year, but I'm saying know the difference of when you're just being a fan at the moment for the first most part, versus actually researching and getting an idea of the mentality of the demographic that could be your fan base. I don't wanna to go too much deeper in this video because I wanted to keep it focused on that one point. I wanna know what you guys think and have you ever got caught up paying attention to a demographic that really isn't your demographic? Do you think you are marketing to the right demographic at the time? What's your troubles? What's your process? Put it in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well, you know, share it. And if you're not subscribed, bruh, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.